we're here today for another episode of Health and Wellness Web. We are your hosts, Natalia Yablokov, Kearney Warren, Alicia Bell, and Karima Williams. We are here today at the Art Museum for the 35th Annual 5K. 5K. Hosted by United Cerebral Palsy of Philadelphia and Vincinity. To celebrate life without limits for people with disabilities. We're excited to be here. It seems like it's going to be a great turnout. There are a lot of people here, as you can see behind us. There's a lot of people warming up, so we can't wait to meet a lot of the walkers and runners. I'm with the VA Road Runners here Yay. today. Yay! Um, what is your name? And tell us, what made you get involved with this? Um, my name is Terry, and I work at the VA, and this is my 20th year running it. We do it every year, and it's a great cause, a good charity. Okay, and what is your name? Uh, my name's Erin. And, and what brought you out today? Um, I actually, I run the fitness center, so I try to gather a whole, a whole group from the VA and get everyone get motivated and help with support the cause. Okay, great, and what is your name? Oh, Joe. Joe, yeah. Joe, what do you want to get out of this run today? Well, you know, I wanted to get out to try to keep it in shape and while helping out a good cause. And that's a great thing, to yeah. get in shape and help out a great cause. Win-win. Win-win. <laughs> We're just glad that you all are here today supporting this wonderful cause on this beautiful day. It's yeah. a little windy, but it's a great day for a run. So thank you so much and have fun! Yay. I'm here today with employees from the HMS School, which is located right here in Philadelphia. Uh, can you tell us your name and what you, sure. your role with the school? Yes, my name is uh, Peter McGinnis and I'm the Director of Admissions for HMS School. Okay, and I'm Marie Logue and I'm the board president. Great, so tell us about HMS School. How does it connect with this event today? Sure, well HMS School is an approved private school for children uh, between the ages of 5 and 21 uh, who have cerebral palsy or other uh, neurological impairments. And for as long as this event has been happening, we have been supporters and we put together a good team of about 60 to 70 people. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Yes. Well, a lot of devotion, a lot of heart at HMS School. Well, so that's awesome. Um, what a wonderful um, organization right here in Philadelphia. Is. I'm so glad that you were able to come out today and speak with us oh, here on great. Health and Wellness. And our kids are here and our families are here. And it's a really a good support for... It's, for really, it's a really heartwarming event to see kids with affected yeah. with cerebral palsy participating in the event. It's really a special night. Yeah. Well, it's life without limits. That's true. Exactly. And they are great ambassadors for, for everybody. Thank you so Thanks much. Thank you. Here. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. very much. Good job. Hi, I'm here at the walk with Doris and Ann, and they actually are here with Chubb, correct? Yes. So tell us a little something as to why you're here today. Uh, well, Ann and I are here. We're both with uh, Chubb Insurance Company, and uh, an email went out about helping out in supporting cerebral palsy, and uh, Chubb is an organization that's always interested in uh, supporting all kind of community efforts, and Ann and I are both interested in supporting um, uh, people with disabilities, so we decided to come out, and we could use a little exercise, so we thought it was a good cause, so we're here. That's great. And is this the first time you guys have been here? Is this many years that this has been going on? This is the first time that we've come for this walk. We participated in the Parkway Run and other activities for fundraising like this. But this is the first time we've done this. And it was a beautiful day, and it's a beautiful cause. Great. Thank you so much, guys. And yes, it is a beautiful day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'm standing here with staff members of United Cerebral Palsy of Philadelphia and Vicinity. I'm here with James Frazier as well as his co-workers. Um, James, please talk to us about the organization. Um, UCP in general, we are dedicated to um, improving the lives of the disabled, trying to integrate them into um, a normal lifestyle and um, me and my co-worker with me and my co-workers we she works in the children's program and uh, we work in the dietary department and we also have a training program there to help the disabled with it with uh, learning new skills and new challenges if you could just tell me or tell our viewers uh, what do you do at the organization yeah Oh, I thought it was for her. Oh, well, I'm just a supervisor in a dietary vocational program that we have. So we teach the guys to integrate into the public. 
work all kinds of different places without the you know limits. That's what we do. Um, I work with the children, um, typical and non-typical children at UCP in the children's services. And what about you? I don't work there at all. <laughs> that's, my, that's my wife. Well, you're out here supporting a great cause. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, good luck to you all, and I hope you have fun today. It's such a great day, and thank you for speaking with thank us. You. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Bell, here with Mike from Chubb Insurance and his teammates here to run the 35th Annual 5K for Cerebral Palsy. So, Mike, why are you here today? Oh, just to support a great cause. Uh, Chubb Insurance has... Uh, participated in about four or five of these events already and we just look for opportunities to uh, participate in charitable events throughout the city. And uh, what other events have you raced in before, participated in? Uh, we do, uh, we've done uh, uh, events down at the Phil Abundance organization. We were there like last month helping them. Uh, spent a day down there, helped to pack some food down there. So that's an example of another type of event. Well, that's great that you guys do a lot for your community, and we wish you all the best of luck tonight in your 5K. Thank you. All right. Thanks very much. Okay, so I snagged a couple other runners here from Eisner Amber, their company that's moving actually from Jenkintown to Philly. Can you guys tell us why you're here today? Oh, well, we're here to support the UCP. It's, as a firm, we've done this for many, many years, and personally, I've done it the past four years. And this would be my 10th year doing it. Okay, so. and what's your names again? I'm sorry. I'm Chris Razzi. And I'm Brian Collins. Okay. Well, thank you so much for just coming. Are you walking for someone in particular today uh, or no? Just coming, not in particular. Because you love the just, cause. Just for the cause and support Honest. the UCP, yeah. That's awesome. What was your, in the past, what was one of your favorite memories coming here? I think just coming together as a team, it's something that kind of brings different people from different areas together um, wow. from our firm and, and we bond over this. Yeah, and for us, we're an accounting firm, so we do, we have busy season through the months of April. So now we come together and we do this run together. So yes. it's a way to everyone come together and like... Leave all the stress yes, from the winter months. Yes, Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Get, yes. A, get away from the desk and just run. And yeah. get out get here. Get ready. Go ahead. I think they're already starting to like stretch and everything. So go ahead and get ready, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Henshaw, who is the Director of Development for United Cerebral Palsy of Philadelphia and Vicinity. Pam, how long have you worked for the organization? I've been with UCP for three years now, but this is my fourth 5K. Okay, and tell us some of the things that you do for um, UCP. Well, my job predominantly is a lot of the marketing and events. Uh, we have do a lot of special events throughout the year in order to raise money for to build awareness as well through especially our marketing efforts. And uh, also we do business developing, forming relationships with a lot of corporations and friends and family and getting the word out about what we do and, and that we're a diamond in the rough. Right. So how important is this particular event, the, the, the race, um, for the organization? This is an excellent race. This is actually my favorite race event because of the fact that it's all inclusive. We begin our race with the with the wheelchair athletes, both power wheelchair and manual, and friends and family and corporations all come together, runners, walkers. It's all inclusive. It's a great evening. We're one of the only evening races in the city, and it really it, it builds a greater awareness. 
So, and I understand this is also, um, it's the 35th annual 5K, but it's Life Without Limits. Can you speak to us about that? Well, Life Without Limits is, we, we try to support people with disabilities and have them be as independent as possible. We take a lot of things for granted because of the fact that we don't have the same challenges, but what we try to do is we support our population and our people with disabilities in order for them to be able to feel as though they are independent and they can live, make choices in their own life. And this is raising money and awareness helps us do that because it broadens the horizon for people to understand what they can do to help people with disabilities. Well, this is such a wonderful event and I'm so pleased to see the various organizations that are here supporting your organization as well as some um, of the, those who have cerebral palsy and other disabilities who are actually out today. Yeah. So I thank you so much for putting this event on and inviting us to come and thank you for talking with us here at Health uh, and We're very honored that you came and, and to help with us an event and they got, had a chance to talk with our special people. So we really thank you for coming. Thank you.